Hello, beautiful people. Today, we're, we are going to be using our uh, crappy green screen lighting in the background. So today, we're talking about um, my 2020 year in review, an email that YouTube gave me, along with the billions of other emails they told me about how um, my content is inappropriate and copyright striked. So if that's, <laughs> I'm gonna use my, uh, my uh, iPhone 12 uh, for this. Uh, let's see what this says. When 2020 went off script, you kept us inspired by uploading 67 minutes worth of content. Wow. <laughs> An entire 67 minutes, guys. That That's pretty impressive. I'm going to actually be trying to do uh, weekly uploads. Because um, I know there's been like a month break in between each of my videos this year. Uh, next year, I'm actually going to try and do weekly uploads. Don't hold me to that though because um, I get busy and also I get lazy. Your hard work's worth celebrating. Let's take a moment to reflect. Hashtag my year in review. Oh yeah. You joined YouTube 314 days ago. From your first video upload now, your fans have smashed that like button 117 times. Dang man. Your community growing. They've left 288 comments and shared your videos 95 times. I would say about 94 out of those 95 are probably my dad on Facebook. You've made 2020 your own. This past year, you've gained 55 subscribers. Sure, buddy. And gained 1,465 new views. Wow. Your viewers spent 1,896 minutes watching your videos in 2020. Guys, stop wasting your life. Your fans can't get enough. Your videos received 167 likes in 2020. Star eyes emoji. Wow, man. Was this email helpful? No. You've taken the challenge of 2020 head on and kept our spirits high. Thank you for being a constant inspiration. Take a screenshot and use hashtag your, my year in review to share with your fans. Oh, um, that's what YouTube had to say to, uh, me, Frying Pan Studios. I love how YouTube is talking about it, like, I just became, like, the next, like, ginormous YouTuber. Like, wow, you've kept us, you've kept us inspired with your, like, two videos you posted this year. I mean, honestly, it's just amazing. Let's see what they have to say about my, uh, second channel. They might not have, since I don't matter. <gasps> oh, yeah, uh... <laughs> I was like, wait, that's actually it. No, it's, um, we have age-restricted your content. <laughs> yeah, guys, that makes the, uh, most inappropriate uploads ever. I'm not family-friendly in any way. Um, I say a million swear words of a video. You hecking hacker. Yeah, I'm a very, very inappropriate YouTuber, and I deserve a community guideline strike on all of my videos. It seems that whenever I upload, with my small 70 subscriber channel, YouTube's just in there, just like, analyzing it with like a monoscope, just like, man, this seems like a very inappropriate video, yes siree. So basically, um, in my opinion, uh, YouTube hates me, Susan Wojcinski hates my 70 subscriber channel. Anyways, for those, um, small amount of people that actually watch and enjoy my content, Thank you for sticking with uh, me this entire time. It's not sounding sincere at all. Thank you for sticking with me, honestly. Um, it's nice to know that at least some people care about me and want to watch me voice crack into a microphone for four minutes straight. If you enjoyed this video, which I'm sure you didn't since it was literally just a video of me reading numbers in front of a green screen, make sure to smash a like and subscribe down below if you want to. If I can somehow get, like, I don't know. Like maybe 300 subscribers by the end of 2021. I feel like that's like feasible since I'm going to be doing like weekly uploads and you know they actually have effort put into them. Or it won't be feasible and I'll hit like 72 out of the 70 I have right now. Also, last minute note while I was editing it, this might be my last video of the year um, because I'm going to be at my grandma's. Although I might record something there, probably not though.